Howdy friendos, <clears throat> Crazy Jason here and welcome to my Wacky Emporium. I am in beautiful Asheville, North Carolina. It's a nice early evening here. Um, just been taking a little drive through the mountains today and decided what the hell. Why not head on up to Asheville and uh, go by the mall, check out the FYE, haven't been there in a while. And uh, Barnes & Noble. Now, I'm pretty much done with Barnes & Noble. I am done with Barnes & Noble. I may order something online this weekend. <clears throat> um, I haven't been to this location, and uh, the sale is kind of it's over for me because um, the coupons are done. That's basically it. And um, I mean, I know I still get the membership discount, and it's still, you know, the best price going. But, um, you know, I pretty much blown my wad this sale but right now I'm about to get into some trouble because I'm going to a place that I'm not supposed to go to <laughs> I'm going to the place that shall not be named I'm taking my pride and I'm sticking it up my ass because you know what if they have something super cool here for a really good price I'm not missing out I'm not missing out. I realize I'm giving them money, but uh, I, I, you know what? I guess my scruples just don't hold up that much when it comes to uh, DVDs and Blu-rays. You know what I mean? Okay, see, this is why I have to go to the place that shall never be named. Um, yes, I will bend over, I will spread my cheeks, and I will let them shove their hairy, nasty, unwashed cocks up my ass because they have a treasure trove of interesting titles. Now, um, first thing I picked up was this really interesting looking film that's right up my alley. It's a documentary, and it's called Asylum. Uh, Kino released this, and uh, basically, according to the back, it's a uh, Maisley's Brothers style direct cinema documentary. Um, in the early 70s, they go inside this uh, mental hospital. And it's a very unconventional mental hospital where the um, the patients really do kind of run <laughs> run the hospital, and that's what I gathered from the back. I've never seen this film. Looks so interesting to me. I this is like straight up my alley, and this is why I have to bury my pride and go in that place because these are the kinds of gems that you find. And the next thing I got is the Long Good Friday. The Criterion release. Um, <clears throat> this is one of uh, their early DVD releases, uh, Spine number 26. I believe it was released in 1998. So, and I was I was on my iPhone. I was trying to figure out if um, this widescreen presentation, if it's anamorphic or not, and I couldn't get a straight answer on it. But it was only five bucks, and this is an out of print title. O O P baby. So, um, yeah, another good gem. I've heard I've, this is another blind buy for me. Um, I've never seen it, always wanted to. Um, I've heard it's uh, one of the finest uh, British gangster films. So, um, and I love Bob Hoskins. So, yeah, two awesome pickups. I mean, that's why, you know, I don't give them props, I don't say their name, but I have to go in there. I just have to. And now I am headed to the mall to see what other trouble I can get into. This is my favorite mall. The best goddamn mall from Timbuktu to Portland, Oregon. Or Portland, Maine for that matter. Where do you think you're going? Jesus Christ. That, you know, that's, that's the thing I hate about Asheville. The, you know, the, the people up here, they, I, I, I don't know, I don't know, they, 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 they think that they, I don't know even what the fuck to say about them, they're just, uh, they're a bunch of hippies, that's all, they're, they're fucking hippies, and, and they, they, they think, they act surprised that you're driving a vehicle, you're not walking, you know, I realize that we're bipedal creatures, but, you know, there, there are automobiles, we are in the 21st century, I... I don't know what the fuck they're thinking. Okay, FYE. They have a rather large 
selection of Blu-rays that I'm going to go through. And it is still buy one, get second, 50% off. So I'm going to go a digging. Okay, nothing at FYE. And uh, maybe I'm out of my mind, but the prices are extraordinarily higher than the uh, FYE in Greenville. The selection's not all that great. Of course, I only had like 10 minutes to run through there really quick, but I did go through the Blu-ray section. I, you know, I combed through there very well and just didn't see anything. So, um, I'm gonna get a bite to eat. I'm gonna get my precious uh, bourbon chicken. And then I'm heading back to Barnes at Nobu, and I'll have a full hour to browse their selection, see what they got. All that food, drink, five dollars and change. That way, I can save money and buy more Blu-rays. Okay, well, <clears throat> I'm stuck in the mall. I'm walking around looking for an exit. All the doors are closed. And uh, I'm starting to get a Dawn of the Dead vibe. Um, I could totally get into that fantasy. Yeah, being locked up in the mall with the hordes of zombies outside. Pretty much stuck in here forever. Although the Sun Coast is gone. That kind of puts a damper on things. It really, really does. I mean, because I could have spent my entire life on Sun Coast in a totally fantasy world, you know. But I'll make do, Barnes and Noble. And uh, I wonder in a lifetime, let's say 40 years, 50 years, could I read every book in Barnes and Noble? I don't know. What do you think? Given 50 years and nothing else to do, could you read every book in a Barnes & Noble? Food for thought. Food for thought. I'd probably turn into that guy in uh, Dawn of the Dead that likes to try on women's clothing. Now I know some of you whorehounds out there are going to know the answer to this question. But as I was walking around, and I've been walking a long time. Yeah, I'm walking these calories off, don't worry. Um, <clears throat> What was that uh, movie from the 80s, a horror movie where people are stuck in a mall and they're, it's a slasher film, like Chopping Mall or something like that, I don't know. Um, I just remember bits and pieces and now I'm all curious because this place is cool when it's empty, you know, I mean it's kind of spooky and I could totally dig getting killed in here. And how fucking discourteous is that? They're open till 10, but you have to go outside and walk around into their store. Bunch of fucking hippie elitists. Eh, uh, folks, this is the breadth and width of the Criterion Collection at the Asheville Mall. No Blu-rays. No Blu-rays. This is it. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I've always wanted that, but I don't know what we'll to see. Whew! It is hot. You know, it's it's 91 degrees outside, but it's the humidity that that, that kills you. For for those of you who uh, don't live in these here parts, um, the humidity here, uh, what it feels like is like a wet glove that has wrapped itself all the way around your body. I mean, it's just, it's, it's horrible. Your clothes stick to you. Um, it's not a pretty scene. But um, anyway, I, I was really disappointed in this Barnes Noble and selection. The Blu-ray section, I, I finally found it. It was very tiny. They only had the newest releases. Um, and, and the DVD section was, it was okay, you know, but uh, it, it wasn't comparable to the one-two punch that we have in Greenville, South Carolina. So I only came away with one thing, but I'm glad I came because it sated my curiosity, you know. Uh, had I not come up here, I would have been thinking, ooh, I missed out on some box sets or some titles that I would have wanted more than the ones I bought in Greenville. No, that's not the case at all. Um, that being said, um, there were things in there that I want. Um, for instance, uh, Hiroshima Monomore and... Um, uh, the Flowers of St. Francis, I think, is the title. 
Um, that was a $29.99 title. A lot of the titles I was looking at, though, were $39.99, which would come to basically $20. Even with the discount card with tax and everything, it would come to $20. And, uh, you know, I, I think that it's time to set my sights on November now. You know, start saving my money for the November sale and take advantage of the coupons that are going to come then. Um, but I did come away with this one thing. Robert Altman's Shortcuts, and this is real bang for your buck, because it's a two-disc edition, and um, it's, with the discount and everything, it came to $12, and this is one of those movies that I find eminently rewatchable, um, you know, probably because it has all the divergent storylines of so many characters like Pulp Fiction or Magnolia, um, it, it's, it's, you know, I don't know, it's just full of so much good stuff I guess it's the the simplest way to say it um, but yeah it's a it's a high definition digital transfer um, supervised by the editor and approved by director Robert Altman who is hit or miss for me um, big hit on this one but um yeah this was this was a great deal and yes you know okay I'm gonna tell you something but don't judge me okay just I am tired of buying old black and white films in the one three three one aspect ratio. I know, I know, I'm sorry. Just for now, I'm tired. It seems like I'm accumulating a lot of these films, and you know, I, I, I don't know. You know, call me a philistine if you want to, but uh, but just for now, until November, you know, I wanted something. This is this is a uh, two three five one. So that was another reason why I chose this. I know, I know, maybe my uh, thought processes aren't logical, but hey, it's the humidity. Blame it on the heat, baby. All right, so I guess that's going to do her. I'm Crazy Jason, and you've been in my wacky emporium.